Hi, my name is Adair Danielle with Chaos Tarot, and I am going to be doing your monthly reading for September 2018. Um, so first off, I want to say hi, Taurus. Let me introduce myself. Um, again, my name is Adair, <laughs> Adair Danielle to be specific, and I'm going to go into my natal chart. So maybe if you're into that stuff, you'll learn a little bit about me. Um, I'm a Pisces sun. Taurus moon. So yes, I am in fact biased. Hey Taurus, I love y'all. Uh, Cancer rising, Mercury in Aquarius, and Venus in Aries. I say all that to say I'm able to tap into a lot of different energies because I have a lot going into my chart. So you can imagine what that looks like in practice and in person. Um, I plan, I'm building this website um, as we're going. So this is really open. Again, Pisces, so go with the flow. So please let me know what y'all want to see and then we can work on that and go from there together. You know, I'm, do y'all want to see monthlies, weeklies? I plan to do daily streaming. Um, I, I do work, so I hope that I'll be able to carve up some time for that. But that's something that I think is like important and vital to the process. Um, and I also am going to do, um, video natal chart interpretations because I absolutely love it because I am nosy and I love to judge people without knowing them. Um, so that's something that I'm very passionate about. I actually started in astrology from about the age of 12 studying it and then I've worked my way and then dibble dabbled and ended up in tarot and I absolutely adore it. Um, so again, this is my first video series, so don't be too harsh. I'm just kidding. Tell me the truth. Um, <laughs> be honest, but Obviously, the messages aren't going to resonate with everybody, um, but for who it reaches, I hope that it resonates with. And if so, please like and subscribe. I'm going to put my Instagram information in the comment box below. And um, let's get into it for September 2018. So I'm really excited, Taurus. I'm really to see what's going on. Oops, that did not shuffle well. It's okay. <laughs> and no shuffles. So now until the end of September 2018. Oh, find the money. Um, oh, I might as well say this now. Um, the type of spread that I do is a six card spread. I start with the underlying energy. That card is pulled from the bottom of the deck. Then I move to the top of the deck for the current theme, um, past, foundation, present, most likely outcome, and then a card of advice. And then I clarify from there. So we're going to get into it. Um, all right. So the underlying energy is the Seven of Wands. At the top of the deck, the heart of the the heart of the matter is the Ace of Wands. In the past present, we have the Tower. Ooh, interesting. I mean, in the past we have the I did this in the Aries video too. In the past foundation, we have the Tower. In the present, we have the Six of Swords. Most likely um, outcome, future is the Eight of Wands. And our advice is the Ten of uh, the Ten of Swords. So we're going to get get into it. This is a pretty straightforward reading, Taurus. Um, and I want to say congratulations for closing a very painful cycle, it looks like. It looks like you're really on the start of something new. Um, high school musical, this could be the start of something new, right? Okay, but this was no fun with this tower being here. It was no fun, the destruction that happened. Um, all right, so we're going to start. We're going to start with the Seven of Wands. It looks like you're fighting for something. You're defending something. It could be yourself. Um, this is just a general reading, so if it applies to love, it applies to work. This, to me, with all the wands here and um, swords, this is something creative. This is something, an idea, I feel, um, more so than anything that might not be tangible. This could be something in a journey that you're trying to embark on, something that you want to do, an idea that you have that you want to pursue, um, again, of creative people. And, like, Taurus are some of the most creative signs of the zodiac um in my humble opinion <laughs> there's that bias but 
that being said, it looks like you're defending something with all of your might and all of your heart. Um, this is the underlying energy. So you have the strength to do that. So we're going to move on. We're going to move on. All right. So there's something new happening, Taurus, specifically that's creative, specifically that is going to evolve emotion and expressing and expressing yourself. Because it seems like you're coming out of a painful cycle. Something was... Um, Something happened and it was all of a sudden and it and it broke down all the walls. The tower card is something that is completely out of your hands. And to me, it seems like it's um, it seems like it's the end of the world. It seems like it's the cla collapse, the end of a, the fall of an empire, kind of. But that brings something new, right? Where there's fire, there's going to be something new. When you burn everything down, right, you're going to new. There's going to be nutrients to the soil. So it's never anything to be afraid of, even though that change is very scary and unwelcoming, and especially for a Taurus. So this is this was very difficult, is what I'm experiencing. But what, what's on the horizon is great. You know, I, I personally like love anything creative. I, I'm a creator myself. So like anything, anytime that this pops up, it always excites me because I'm like, wow, I'm going to be doing something that I love, something that I'm passionate about, something that, you know, gets me up in the morning, something that I like. Because with the present energy, you're leaving something behind and you're leaving something behind for something better, something grander, something greater, something that's going to, you know, really set you on your way. So I, I, I wouldn't... You're leaving this tower situation. So whatever the upheaval was, whatever the sudden upheaval was, you're leaving for, you know, brighter shores. I don't even know if that's a term, but you're leaving for them. You're leaving for brighter, brighter shores, clear days, you know, happier, happier places. Oof, I'm sorry about my hair. And it's going to be happening quickly. There could be communication coming in. There seems to be travel. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe you're actually moving. Um, some of you are actually physically moving and physically leaving a situation and going somewhere new and starting somewhere fresh. Um, I wouldn't be surprised or you're changing careers or you're changing partners, you know, but there's something that's happening. There's definite movement that's happening and it, and it seems to be quick with this coming in as the most likely outcome. Um, you're going to be again, uprooted and, and leaving, communicating, open, honest communication about this new passion. This is sitting right on top of it. So about this new thing, you're going to be very passionate about speaking about it. Um, and that's kind of cool. And you're going to defend it, whatever it is. We'll clarify because I'm just curious about this, especially when I see the tower card for an earth energy. I'm always like, ooh, their world was rocked upside down. And so they're trying to piece these picks, piece these pieces back together because Taurus are one of the most slow and steady and like you put in work, you put in work, you put in work, you put in work, and then you persevere and then it's going to happen for you. And some Taurus will spend a lifetime. My great grandfather was a Taurus and one of the cheapest men he knew, but when he passed away, he left my grandma with over a million dollars and nobody even knew. I'm not a millionaire. Please. That's not why I was telling that story, but <laughs> I'm nowhere close. But yeah, but the advice is to end this painful cycle. Let it go. Let it die. Th the tower was sitting right on top of this. So this was something that w is for the better. It's for the better so you can move so you can move on. But let it die and let those feelings, let those feelings of negativity go with it. You know? So we're going to clarify cuz I'm a nosy posy cuz I mean the reading's pretty straightforward, but let's get into it. So we're going to clarify what is this tower moment moment for Taurus? What's this tower moment for Taurus? What's this tower moment for Taurus? It's page of swords. So this is a scholarly or this is a conversation that went left and this could be dealing with an immature person. Um, specifically, uh, air, air signs. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, and this could be somebody who was reckless with their words. So maybe you had a steady foundation that you thought with somebody, um, or that you, you had a steady foundation in what you wanted to do. Again, I really think that this has to do with ideas. I don't know if this necessarily has to do with the person. For some of you, it does, but for, for others, this has to deal with, um, maybe school, um, education, what you're going to study, what you're going to pursue, um, where you thought that you were going to study this and maybe you got in there and you were like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't like any of this. I'm completely changing what I want to do and telling people that. I think some of you might have changed your major or some of you are really changing your careers and looking to do something else. Sorry, the screen went black. Because um, I don't think that you loved it. Maybe you did it one time, but you don't anymore. Um, so that's kind of what I'm getting. 
yeah and look at this the wheel of fortune is is again so this is for the better this to me pairs directly directly with this six of swords where you're really leaving you're changing for the better so this is a good this is good progress towards and um fight for yourself again <laughs> i said this to aries you know fight for your right to party and here we go again with the the queen of wands this is a person who is this is a celebrity card this is somebody who gets attention and this is somebody who doesn't take no for an answer and this is someone who knows what they the fuck that they want and they're going for it right so this is the energy that you should be adapting whatever this changes um, a lot of wands and this and when you see queens it's inner work it's inward work so this is work that is coming from within if it was a king then then be boisterous about it right the cool thing about the queen of wands is she automatically is boisterous but it starts here there's an inner confidence that's that's going to be built right with this new idea I'm, I'm just i'm really sensing an idea i'm really sensing that this is mental i'm really sensing that this is something that like you want to do you want to communicate i don't know if it's tangible yet maybe that's what you're going to do but as taurus being tangible is something and practical and putting those ideas into motion is something that you very 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 much are blessed with and so if you're pursuing something and it kind of seems like it came out of nowhere to other people you do it it's it might take time and people might not understand but you do it discernment again you can say no like the cards are just falling out i don't know who this is for i really don't know who this is for but this is pretty exciting. I'm a Taurus moon, so maybe that's why I'm so excited about it. And, you know, even for me, this is something that I've decided to do. And this is a mental thing. And if I told my mother, like, hey, I'm going to read tarot cards on YouTube, she'd be like, no, you're not. Like, you're going to continue to go to work. What are you doing? And so you might have that type of energy. My mother's a Virgo, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? So I get it. I, I totally get it. But you're going to embody this. This is a lot of fire that's coming in for Taurus. And, and so that steam might be coming out of your nose and you're charging forward. You're being the bull and you're moving right to a more positive time. You're moving towards the Ten of Cups. That's great. So whatever it is that mentally you've decided to embark on, I say pursue it wholeheartedly without fail and let go of all that negative energy. This is the closing of a cycle. You're not starting on a new painful cycle. You're closing one out. So if this tower moment caused you pain, if there are people that have caused you negativity and who aren't going to support and believe in you, then cut it out. Move on. This is your advice. It's to let that shit die. And if you've been backstabbed, let that shit go. There's no need to stick around. Do you know what I'm saying? You're, the, the Wheel of Fortune, like, there's so much happening here. There's so much positive movement to the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be something that is going to bring you financial success too, Taurus. So whatever this idea, this baby, this, this you know, brain baby that you have, explore it. Please explore it. I'm, I, you know, I'm excited. Please let me know what it is in the comment section because this is absolutely, I, I'm absolutely in love. I'm absolutely in love with this. Don't, don't hesitate, you know, don't, don't hesitate. Don't not do it because you're scared. Let release your inhibitions, feel the rain on your skin. You know, no one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. Right. So that's kind of like where we, that's kind of where we stand Taurus. So defend yourself, defend this idea and fucking go for it because the universe, the universe is on your side right? Everybody else can, you know, suck a dick, right? Cool. Cool September Taurus. That's, that's really cool. No, I'm not just saying that because Taurus moon, but yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you. I hope that this resonated. I really hope that this resonated with some people because that is a very awesome reading. Um, and yeah, let me know what y'all want to see again let me know what it is that y'all want to see because i want to build it and i want it to be effective i want people to be interested i want to get people excited about these videos um and so yeah let's uh wrap it on up i don't know what i'm stalling for but like thank you for tuning in and please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out any of the information that's in the bottom of the box and uh i will see you next time i see you peace